Hello guys, welcome back to the Matrix of Life channel and in this video let's discuss Matrix compatibility between people. Gonna bring some light on it and we will start with the easiest one compatibility which you can calculate yourself and that's gonna be for visit card of Matrix energies. We'll explain what different combinations mean here and um, how to calculate it. For example, you was born on first of any month and your person was born in first of any month you just add in these numbers and you get in the visit card of your couple like your person was born on first you was born on first then visit cards one plus one two or if your person was born on for example 13 and you was born on 23rd of any month uh, then we get in 36 and 36 it's less than 22 because here we um adding up numbers till it's 22 uh, mean if we get in the number which are bigger than 22 then we add in again okay so it should be less than 22 uh, and 36 uh, 3 and 6 is gonna be number 9 so your visit card uh, visit card of your couple is number nine uh, and uh, that's gonna explain your interactions maybe at some point even uh, uh, can impact on, on places or obstacles how you're gonna meet with your person but uh, here not only about this so first of all a uh, rare case if you was born on first of any month and your person on first of any month and you have an energy number two in your compatibility that's rare but happen at times uh this combination is better for secret love affairs okay um, secret love affairs which supposed to stay hidden um the less people uh, intervene in your relationship, the better this um, sort of relationship when relatives learning last uh, that uh, two people got married or got together because um, in such couple people prefer to hide uh, their relationship from the world and the better they hide the safer the relationship are actually and the longer they can go together what is good to do in this um in this couple very good to go into some sort of esoteric business different spiritual awakenings together different retreat activities so highly recommended and welcomed for for this uh, couple uh to interact uh you know here we go with this beautiful beautiful magic and this union this couple is able to manifest whatever they want together this is a power couple but again uh, when they will be start um telling about their relationship to other people maybe seeking for advice on their relationship that you can consider as the beginning of the end of their relationship because they should keep their relationship private in secret from other people this is sometimes you know when a couple even works together but no one guessing that they are actually a couple if you know someone with such compatibility in the visit card i don't know maybe your parents maybe your friends who was born on first and on first of any month uh, let me know in the comments it will be really interesting how you see in the relationship is it really resonates with what i'm i'm telling here and energy number three uh i will be looking time to time to my notes i made here for myself not do not not to forget it's something important i wanted to share because we have 22 energies to go just imagine this is like my own run but i will try to make it uh, so um if you was born on first and your partner was born on second or oh, vice versa of any month of course you will be getting visit card energy number three as your compatibility and this is very in plus this is very nice stable um, earthly couple good good for compatibility actually this number you you're gonna have kids it's gonna be your priority family gonna be your priority um material wealth gonna be your priority this couple to which easily flows all sort of material wealth like cars they they, they get together and they start building like um 
and you look at this couple and slowly they get in an apartment, they get in a house, they get in a car, they get in an extra car, they get in this, 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 that, and building a lot. But in, in minus, this word, uh, what might mean in minus? In minus, this is could be a change in roles uh, when a uh, feminine is very authoritative and gonna command it at home and becomes a skin sort of uh, to wear husband slippers at home and uh, might suppress man a lot. Again, it depends on uh, and who he have which character. If if feminine here with character number one, then of course she gonna suppress male always who was born on second of any month, you know. And at times man can be if we have vice versa situation, man can be too much assertive and suppressive. He may want to to see uh, his future wife as housewife simply sitting at home doing nothing just kids like nothing of course housewives they have, have a lot of to do um, but he would want her to invest only in, in home in kids uh, her time in these activities only uh, without welcoming her working somewhere outside you know and if she ever gonna work that's gonna be something based from home like freelance this sort of activity he may say yes to this but the rest of the he would prefer to to see her like housewife here uh, or might be a uh, uh, um, situation on contrary when uh, roles shifting and men here prefer to stay at home with kids and, and being this weak creature of, uh, you know, with, without willpower. Uh, uh, then, of course, that's not good. And, of course, if they perform in like this, uh, sooner or later, this couple gonna split up. They will keep vibrating in minuses. But in plus, these two very great people, doers, achievers, um, they provide the best for their family and this sort of family they really 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 strong uh next if we're dealing with compatibility number four in matrix it's like she was born on third he was born on first or both were born on on second of any month you know if the visit card uh, of the couple is number four almost similar to number three but the thing here a man would like to see strong, successful women who are successful in society out there in her profession. And here a partner won't restrict another one to have to achieve something in career from this role you know and wouldn't want to oppress this role of housewife or house husband <laughs> on his partner no here people most likely uh, with this compatibility they will simply they will be hiring someone they will be hiring and delegating a uh, household um, course on someone else like a maid inviting a maid but going hand in hand together achieving expanding this is a power couple of two professionals you know one correlation might be not the best correlation of course and not the best example like mr and mrs smith like they are equal here a couple of equals we have and uh, people and for, for these people will be, this will be really important to keep the status through years if they want to keep uh, they uh, if they want to keep the union alive uh, it's very important to be equal to stay equal like he's achieving something she's achieving something not like he's moving 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 and she's still at this level and not like vice vice versa no 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 that that's why and that's why it will be difficult to keep this couple together but uh, anyway a go for compatibility this is really nice number you can really enjoy this is union of professionals and these people can really build a business together even they can build some business together and if in first case it's not that recommended because business might be this um, apple of arguing there but in in this case with energy number four is with it right uh, that's even welcoming like two people building business uh, that's that might go really 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 well for them 
working together and there's gonna be a project which gonna keep them together in, in pluses of the energies and uh, here we move into the energy number five this one energy like family 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 so traditional were very 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 traditional these people might even live like already created a family but they're living with the parents because they, they need to look after parents because it's a tradition they live in this big house with the elderly who who have the final world you know they obey their parents uh this could be as well arranged by parents marriage you know if he was born on fourth and he was born on first or um, she was born on second he was born on, on third or vice versa whatsoever combination brought you two together you know always oh, this energy number uh five in a wizard card uh, most likely they they live in with parents but here in order not to go into minuses of the matrix energies please filter because your elderly your parents might dictate you how you should behave with your husband wife how you should act how you should live how you should build your daily life daily routine they may want to dictate you just literally everything and of course um when it's um when all the discontent gonna be accumulated there gonna be a boom 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 big boom and separation but in plus this is a very couple who love their parents respect their parents taking care of their parents from both sides so who brought um traditions into the union she brought some tradition from her family he brought from his family they like combining this tradition making new traditions creating even new traditions for the new family Mm, and better if you don't want to go into minuses of this energy of course a recommendation to separate from parents and and live apart from parents you might you may live not that far like uh, just in next building but preferably to separate from your parents in order not to kill your marriage or your union with visit card like this if you have number five energy and of course of course guys if you will be um, sticking to the point of view that oh we shouldn't sign any papers we fully trust each other stamping passport decide nothing oh, that's gonna be a loose game for both of you because i remember energy number five five that's a law that's a tradition you should create traditional family even church union sort of or mosque union i i don't know this this should be very beautiful religions and it should be on a paper it should be stamped if you don't want problems because this is not a free love union of, of two independent souls no you should know your obligations like duties husband duties wife's duties it's better to discuss before this uh, important step of marriage gonna be taken of course you know and um guys here we go that um that very important to discuss is if you say no we trust each other we're gonna try this family life together with no stamp at first and then decide if we want to go get married or not this is not your um, remember this is not your case and behaving like this and thinking like this in such sort of union you already moving uh, down the wrong road and of course this leads you not to the union but to separation Okay, and now to energy number six. Energy number six is welcoming all sort of unions with no stamping, with no attachments, with no strings, with no obligations. That's energy number six. They say free spirited lovers, union of lovers. So if you have this in your compatibility visit card again I, i'm reminding you how it's calculated for example she was born on on fifth of any month and he was born on first then you have six in compatibility or you are adding up numbers if you have any doubt, doubts how, how to calculate or what your visit card compatibility gonna be you can drop me dates of birth and uh, i will tell you for sure if you have any doubts uh, about people whose compatibility you want to compare 
maybe your parents, maybe your friends, you want to take a look at some couples and you're wondering how it is between them, how well it's going. So this video sort of helping you to navigate the relationship of other people and your own relationship as well. So here we go with energy number six, guys. This is uh, totally, you know, free-spirited love. This is poems. This is beautiful feelings. This is um, all sort of romantic holidays going to be celebrated together in such union. Valentine's Day. No, 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 no. Skip paying attention to all the sort of details. If uh, with energy number five, in case with energy number five, they gonna celebrate just because if it was a tradition, if uh, Valentine's Day wasn't a tradition in their family they're not gonna celebrate it but you're gonna celebrate what whatsoever romantic holiday in our world exists you're gonna celebrate it all because uh, you have the thirst for love in this union and here is very important first step is to give this love to yourself first because if your cup is empty uh, you shouldn't expect from other person coming and filling your cup of love. And this is gonna be a mistake which gonna kill your union, actually, if you have six in, in your visit card and compatibility. You waiting for your partner to come and give you some sort of love, mm, compliments, attention, flowers, constant romance here. Mm, you can you know like require this a lot from parent uh, from parents sort of from your partner from your partner um and if it's the first stages of romantic relationship most couples doing this you know these small romantic gestures um it's sort of habit you know of, of people social behaviors and everything uh then when this romance uh, stops and routine starts, uh, that's gonna kill your union. And you will be uh, wanting to experience this love flow again, but maybe with some other partner. So you will start questioning your partner. And first you, you're gonna start requesting from your partner, like, come give me love, organize some romantic surprise for me, do this for me, please. Um, I need, uh, we, we haven't been on romantic holiday for so long. You're gonna start making this pressure or why you're not uh, confessing me love, you know, all these jokes that, are uh, you love me? Are you still love me? Do you still love me? Mm. Oh, and he sends her and look, look, I gonna say you if something gonna change. Uh, all these jokes were about this sort of couples with uh, number six in visit cards in the compatibility here. So number six, uh, very, uh, at, at first glance, it might be like, wow, it's pure love energy in, in its purest form, purest love. But in fact, in practice, and especially from my personal practice, when I'm consulting people who come in to check their compatibility and so maybe some marriage issues or relationship issues, uh, this is the most problematic one in practice. But um, in theory, you might think, my God, this is visit card of love. This is so exciting. There must be true love, <clears throat> true love between these people which brought them together and always in in this couple energy number six there's gonna be test uh, of love triangle your couple might be grown out from a love triangle like he's seeing you and someone else behind your back uh, and then trying to like decide between you and other go with whom to go next um, <clears throat> This might be based on this love triangle or this might be like uh, you trying to take him from his family uh, or sort of when he's married and didn't confess you and he was searching for some romance outside of family because he stopped getting this um, in his family. Uh, usually these couples with a six in visit cards, they form like this based on someone else's tears, suffering and third party situation ship. Most often they they raced on these, and of course, if they raced with violation of theoretical principles, that's gonna be same epic end to to this relationship. Or oh, history gonna repeat itself in a way, and they're gonna be cheating, and so on, so on, so on. 
so in fact energy number six it sounds like like love my god oh my god it's love energy but in fact this is the most difficult energy to work with in matrix because here um, people have two idealistic expectations from one another wearing uh, pink glasses for for so long and refuse to see reality refuse to understand that um honeymoon it's uh it's one month it's not uh infinity but they try and you know to to build this honeymoon for entire life uh it's good if you will be able to there are some romantic couples who are constantly coming up with romantic surprises with romantic gestures and, and on very small occasions it will be nice for you to do this but it's nice to do if you're doing this consciously and if it if it's going from both sides both ways because if you will be given 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 uh, and only given but not receiving from your partner in such couple with energy number six one day you will start pressuring your partner to to pay you back with same coin and your partner might have no intention to do this and that's gonna be you know greatest disappointment and split up for you so energy number six keep it in mind um, how to make a chart you know, so so many important details need to say about each and every compatibility. But anyway, we'll be we'll be trying to keep only main main details. Uh, and energy number seven, we're moving to. If in your visit card, for example, you was born on thirteen, he was born on twenty first. Together, you you get an incompatibility. Energy number seven. And here we go. This is a couple. Uh, you might be from different cities, uh, sometimes even from different countries. Um, and your biggest task uh, when this relationship only started is to get together finally, because you live in, you might even live in different uh, sides of the cities, you know, and uh, biggest challenge here, um, who gonna move to whom? Who gonna pack this stuff and move to whom? With energy number seven, uh, energy number seven when they have no common goals you must have a lot of common goals like to do list wish list to, to do together list mm, that should be your practice because it's a day when you uh, don't have common goals you're gonna split up and go separate ways uh, your glue what is holding you together is having these common goals to achieve like you mm, need to want for example set goals constantly set yourself goals like uh, uh here we we have in this apartment next we buy in house next we have a kid Con you should have this um life plan written and you should both agree on this and you should set as many common goals as possible then this energy powerful energy strong energy you have together instead of inner fights and here might be even physical fights because a lot of energy, as I said, and if it's not spent on common goals, it, it's gonna spend on each other mm, up to the point when people might start hitting each other when, when they arguing. And again, the more you have in common, the better, because if you look at your person, if you have this compatibility and you look at this person and uh, he likes this music, you like that music, you like this sort of activities and he likes that sort of, uh, of activities, you almost have nothing in common but energy number seven brought you together. Um, either start searching for something in common and work on, on it like build something in common or start figuring out common goals common desires wishes wants everything uh, either guys it's better to say bye bye to such person at the, at the at the very beginning at the start because if you won't be doing this work on searching common goals then guys that's gonna be very painful relationship for both of you <clears throat> and again a lot of problematic couples coming like they split up when common goals are uh, finished when they became totally different people a lot of couples like this with energy number seven in incompatibility coming like 
Uh, when you come and go find it, if you're not planning anything together, and here it's very important to plan together and act upon it. Like you decided plan for for the weekend, you wrote plan for the weekend, you you stick into it. You agree together on how you want to spend weekend together, you acting upon it. It it shouldn't be on paper just uh, and important to do this together. And here common goals they very often um, achieved successfully. You can choose whatever big goal you want and start storming it together, uh, sharing responsibilities, duties, so who gonna be responsible for what. That's gonna be very efficient, very successful union if you will treat it like this. So let me know if you if you know couples with compatibility like this. You may check again, I remind you, you may check your parents, you may check your friends, unions, you... You may check some celebrities and then come up with your opinion. We're here to, to discuss in the comments because if I won't be seeing the discussion here, I will not be sharing any more of matrix information. Not interesting to me, sorry. Uh, so here we go with energy number eight. Energy number eight. Oh Lord, please save me and preserve this is soul karmic because these people come together to teach each other lessons and hard lessons and i said many times in my videos different pick cards celebrity readings matrix readings everything that your partner is mirroring you something you have but in lesser degree something ugly and bad you have within yourself what you need to fix um but you should find it it's in it's in lesser degree for example if it's um if it's a p like um a, uh, or a gem, your your partner showing you this as a mountain, reflecting it to, to you as a mountain or as a bowl, uh, like feet bowl, big one, you know. So, uh, number eight, they, they mirroring even more, like 10,000 times stronger, very karmic union, definitely strong car contract from past lives. And again, remember here, please, about... Um, Making everything legal in this connection. Uh, this is traditional marriage, same as number five. But here, people they, they love to criticize each other. And if you will be uh, responding to your partner with uh, criticism, this is uh, path to nowhere. When your partner is criticizing you, try to fix your own behaviors or patterns in this union instead of replying your person with same criticism. No one is perfect, no one is ideal, but here is a case when you shouldn't hit your person back. Like... Um, He's criticizing you and you shouldn't start criticizing him back or vice versa. Uh, because again, that's, that's, that's gonna make you apart. <clears throat> and and in this couple, it's very important. They, might, uh, they may give to each other like ultimatums. Uh, either it's me, either it's your career, you know. Uh, what else is very important? Uh, very important again to agree on who is responsible for what in this union uh, whose responsibility to throw garbage whose respons responsibility to do dishes very important to agree on, on such small details okay and uh, before the union happened before this official wedding or something gonna happen very important to to talk this to chat this um, to each other uh, very important for this uh, couple is uh, mutual respect. You should respect each other a lot. And, and, and... <clears throat> what else I wanted to say? Very important. Uh, you should strive for the perfect balance uh, between uh, relationship and work. Okay, because here might be a tendency of you to become a workaholics in this um, union. Again, you will be learning balance, balancing a lot. And ultima through ultimatums as well, some of you may try to regulate this through ultimatum, saying either your career, either you say staying with kids. So, um, again, and if you not staying with kids and choosing career, I'm divorcing you. This sort of discussions and situations, but 
please remember that very very karmic 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 union very difficult to manage and navigate same difficult as energy number six and energy number seven um it need you to be at this high soul level let me say okay energy number nine Oh, energy number nine. What is important for you? For you, it's important heart to heart conversations, discussions, uh, total trust to each other. But at times, uh, here's unlike seven, you may have so much in common having this number nine like you want to talk to your partner about everything about moon about stars about politics about traveling about new vaccine about cats about dogs about weather um, you may want to discuss everything and at times you overflowed in your partner with your attention uh, and energy you you and your partner there is no energy left for anything else like for uh daily routine uh to cook dinner like basic things like uh, even wash yourself my god because you can chat with your partner 24 7 non-stop without shutting up you may chat and chat and discuss with them and discuss and discuss and discuss this whole things and at some point you get tired of each other incredibly tired and you sort of wanna kill them you wanna escape from you wanna run from home um this is very close people close souls but you need to regulate this um uh, period of you together time of you together you need to know this fine line when enough is enough because you may sit in the evening you may sit um uh, both came from work and discussing some details of how your day was and you may sit to the sunrise but at sunrise you need to move your ass to work again in a very few hours and you haven't slept you know this is a very draining relationship that's why people with this um, with this sort of compatibility they uh tend to they need first of all they need time separate from one another time alone from each other time to rest better not to not to stay in same room uh, in this couple as in any other very important to have even separate bedrooms like where you you sleep separately um because too much of you you may suffocate your partner and vice versa with your energies with this overflow and they not resisting you because you were attractive in the eyes like they don't know when, when to say that enough when to say bye bye when to say it's enough we discussed already 10 times same things you know because they truly attracted to you so most often this um energy we are having in a uh, visit card of lovers secret lovers hidden lovers like oh when um uh, he or she coming from wife and husband to the lovers they spending few sweet hours together and they chatting about everything in the bedroom and, and doing everything there uh, but then someone must leave because they need to show their face uh, uh, to their family um, and that's how it regulated how this energy regulated because if no then you need to, to know when to stop and uh give your partner space and, and when if enough is enough here you, you need to truly really understand and regulate this and at times this is energy of uh unions you know where she is sort of very artistic or maybe seen him somewhere going on tour so he you know, and um, partners waiting for them at home or may also travel you know we're very couple who um, either of two lecturers to two professionals so when they get in together like for months or three weeks or two weeks and then they split again or as i said um, a sailor and a housewife you know when husband is a sailor and he goes like six months in the sea and uh, sometimes signal not good so they're not even able to communicate 
communicate on mobile and he's working there so no, no time to communicate with her and, and when he's coming back home they're very happy they're in this union 24 7 um, but slowly 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 they start getting tired of each other start uh, wanting to kill each other because of this endless endless conversations and so here you need to regulate this energy and i i know with some of my friends i have this energy in a visit card and it's very difficult to stop really chatting to to, to such friends because sometimes you might chat to, to five o'clock in the morning you know discussing news with them and uh, this is this really uh, this is non-stop and one of my friends she's saying like don't don't please don't say me messages i need to work because i can't resist i will be listening to your messages and i won't be able to work after this because here it started you know because always they have always something interesting to share uh, so please keep such details in, in your mind uh, what may prevent your couple from going hand in hand successfully what sort of problem okay energy number 10 energy number 10 this couple of two lucky charms energy of good luck these people uh they spend together many 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 lifetimes uh, if you see in the compatibility energy number 10 that's why it's so difficult for them to break this relationship to stop them because they sort of keep getting together again and again over and over again uh, with this sort of attraction but here what may put an end to your very beautiful and lucky relationship because together you lucky terms this couple if will go to casino together they may hit a jackpot we choosing together on on what they should put their money uh so they, they bring in luck to each other when they vibrating in pluses of course and here what may prevent when you start um because uh, energy number 10 they living in a flow it's very easy energy when you are planning nothing because if energy number seven couple is energy number seven uh they must freaking plan each and every step how they gonna do in 10 years uh, how they see in the future in 20 years how they see in their family in five years how they see in, in three years number seven should have this plan uh, if they want they will be falling apart but number 10 may want to do what uh to do plan as number seven should have they may want to have this like uh because I, I, this is a uh, good luck energy like you're never expecting it that's why it, it's called good luck you know you didn't expect something to happen but something happened that's good luck and um they may want you know to they may want here to have this oof, like dictate each other um make this dictatorship dictate each other like i want you to do this and that and that or how you see in our future or you should do this and this for me so when this sort of obligations got started between these two, when they start, um, when they will try to make some concrete plans and especially one gonna press another, like when this or that, um, that's a place where everything gonna fall apart between these two. Because they should live in the floor in full trust to each other they should fully trust each other like uh and shouldn't have this tension but very often uh, in such union one of the partners want guarantees like uh, i want this and that from you i want this and that uh so uh, and very important for you to have some common hobby energy number 10 if you have like playing hope together on a weekend if you have this as common hobby or any other 
co common hobby if you have that's very great especially a nice energy for union of artists where she for example a painter and then he's a designer or something like this because they gonna bring each other good luck through their connections um, through their networks they're gonna they're gonna get noticed by society and they can help each other to develop um, very very good energy for compatibility of very creative people not like people who bankers or uh, have this um, very very serious jobs you know like no this this energy loves couples of artists she may be muse he his muse or he may be um her muse in this union and writing something about him uh, she might get very successful because he will be given this uh, um, inspiration to her this couple is endless source of inspiration as well so very very great for artists but when you will try to regulate relationship in this couple try to set some rules no you should live in full trust to each other and full trust to universe you shouldn't have this like plan tomorrow we buy a house and you you should uh, pay your part in this and I'm waiting for no 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 you should like you should act like uh someone uh, some of you hit in jackpot and like tell them, baby i bought a house for us to because i got so lucky uh, i wrote book about you i wrote song about you it went crazy popular we have all the money i bought house for us but not like where's your part of um, this and um, trying to you know to request from each other this part of whatsoever <clears throat> Okay, now to couple with energy number 11 in compatibility and I think that's gonna be it for today and I've, I will um, continue in part two. So let me explain just 11 energies and we will keep going and give you in a few videos i will finish this there's gonna be part two of, of matrix compatibility because i i don't want you to get tired and i'm almost out of battery i'm sorry so energy number 11 this is magnetic attraction this is very magnetic sexual pool sex is very great in this couple what's bringing them together is this desire uh, sex um attraction physical attraction like a magnet bringing them together uh, and in, in this couple you should understand someone will be dominating and some need to be submissive and it's good if you're satisfied with your role troubles they started when you are uh, not satisfied of being um, submissive or you know or, or you don't like to to act this uh, dominant role but your partner expecting you to play this role uh, so here problem started and here my started even physical violence as i say it the uh, same is in number seven and number uh, three as far as i remember number three four as well have this tendency of someone hitting another one this physical in, in minuses it's it's uh, physical abuse physical violence in such couples um very often in pluses this is very healthy happy couple with a great sex great material wealth or someone is ahead of the family and the rest obey to this you know uh, and here uh, you see as, as nobody else you see the weak spots of your partner like with x-ray you see in this and you may have this desire to push when you're not satisfied with your partner's behavior and here's advice don't pull lion's tail when he's sleeping and especially don't try to pull it when he's awake Mm, just general message don't pull lion's tail okay here for energy number 11 because you may want to do this you see their weaknesses um you very close to them you know them as nobody else knowing them and seeing through them so don't use their weakness against them and same vice versa your partner shouldn't use your weaknesses against you because when it started then most likely couple gonna split up and most likely we're gonna have this some sort of physical abuse physical violence 
and this couple so guys i will be waiting from you comments uh, whom you recognized um, who have this compatibility maybe your parents how a relationship between them maybe your friends let, let me know and uh, support 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 if you want to see if you want me to make part two where i will be sharing a compatibility from energy number 12 till energy number 22 to finish this beautiful amazing road okay and if you want your compatibility matrix just email me you know where to find my email for now it costs 200 dollars your compatibility matrix is with all t on you and your partner but uh, from after summer when i will be uh, in june july in july i'm planning to to take part in festival of my teachers and after this festival i'm planning to raise prices for all matrixes based uh, basic and um compatibilities as well so prices gonna raise guys uh grab your chance if you wanted to get your um, any sort of matrix reading because it will be expensive from summer and i'm bewaring you in advance here so guys see you soon bye bye